Good morning. Welcome to the channel. My name is Roy. Uh, it's another dreary, foggy day here in upstate New York. So I uh, thought today I would just go over some of my gear. Uh, I've never been very big on wearing gear. Uh, like I said, I've been riding for over 20 years. Usually I don't wear motorcycle coats. Uh, I've always wore, you know, a light jacket, a sweatshirt. Most of the time I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Recently, it was actually winter, went down to Connecticut and bought myself a coat. Went down to Connecticut to Cycle Gear. Uh, the coat here from Cycle Gear, built. Not too expensive. Uh, like I said, I don't really like to spend a lot of money on stuff and uh this is actually my first motorcycle coat uh black it's got a vent here you can unzip this here another one here all right pockets you got a little see here pocket on the side the zips pocket on the side i think it's water resistant not waterproof i don't remember it's got a liner in it that you can unzip out pocket here for your cell phone which my cell phone won't fit in there i don't know what phone's going to fit in there now because it's so skinny you can't get anything in there you got another inside pocket here okay got another pocket here zip in you could probably keep some money in there whatever this pocket here okay that's got padding there padding there in the elbow padding up in the shoulder Pretty, I, I kind of like it, you know, just plain black. I'm not into all those colors and stuff. The back has a zipper in this fold here that you can unfold, uh, unzip for venting. Pretty nice. So that coat was, you know, I only paid like $120 for it. It's pretty decent. But like I said, uh, I usually don't like to wear gear. Uh, when I start doing my videos, you know, riding and stuff, you're going to see that I don't, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to squid. Uh, when it's warm, I only wear the coat. I only wear the coats when when I'm when I'm cold. Uh, uh, gloves when I'm cold. Most of the time, you're gonna see me with no gloves, no coat. I'm gonna be, be just riding a, in a t-shirt. You know, pants. I just wear regular jeans. I don't wear motorcycle jeans. Shoes. I don't wear motorcycle boots. I just wear sneakers, or you know, if I do wear boots, it's just regular boots. I know if I go down, I'm gonna be hurting. And that's how I feel. You know, and if if you like to wear gear all the time, that's fine. You know, whatever you believe, ride your own ride, wear your own gear, whatever. That's fine with me, but I'm not, you know, you know, don't harp on me if, you know, because I know that I, I know what I'm doing, you know, with the, I know if I get, you know, have, have an accident, I could be hurt. Uh, I've been riding motorcycles for over 20 years and uh, I'll show you my helmet here that I used to wear. I got this helmet up in Laconia. All right. It's not even a real helmet. Uh, it's only a skull cap i've been wearing this for 20 years okay okay here's my skull cap i used to wear i just recently decommissioned it uh i finally went out and got a new helmet but this is what i used to wear all right it's just a little not even a real helmet you know i wore this for 20 years riding around up here in new york um here's my new helmet all right i just got this last year last fall hgac i70 matte black all right got a flip up visor right here vents in the front vents up here all right uh, let's see here it does have some vents in the back here airflow um pretty nice okay uh it does have a sun visor inside just flip it down here if i can do this here one-handed The visor. All right. I also have Cardo on here. Uh, me and my brother just went in, went in halves, and we bought the Freecom Four Duo Pack. So he's got one, and I got the other. Uh, like I said, my brother just started riding again, so I've always ridden solo for for the longest time. I, you know, I have had. A couple friends here and there that I would ride with, but uh, for the recent years, I just ride by myself. So it's great having my brother come, you know, riding now. So now we've got these so we can talk. Uh, we're still getting used to them. 
you know, uh, we don't ride in big groups, so we, we got the Freecom 4 instead of the, uh, what is it, the bowl with the mesh and everything. It's just me and my brother, so we just, this is all we needed. Uh, you know, I could listen to music, me and him could talk, you know, it's a lot better than pointing and, you know, and doing hand signals and stuff, so it's a lot easier. I kind of like that. And also listen to music. I've never listened to music before, you know, on there. I'm just still trying to figure out how to do the GPS through there. Uh, I can hear, you know, I'm still working on the audio settings and stuff so the GPS can be heard. I can barely hear the GPS. I don't know. So still trying to figure that out. But like I said, I just got this helmet last year. I am not used to wearing a full face helmet. Kind of like it a lot more, you know, since I've gotten it because uh, no more bugs. I'm not hit, getting the bugs hitting the face with it no more. Uh, used to hurt all the time when you get a big June bug hit right to the lip. That's that, you know. Uh, and then I'll show you my gloves. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that uh, where I purchased the helmet, the HJC I-70, uh, I ordered it from Revzilla online. I followed the instructions on how to take your hand uh, head measurements, hand, <laughs> your hand, head measurements, and um, and I actually ordered the next size up because I was right in the medium, so I got a large. Good thing because that this uh, large is a little snug, I think. So good thing I did go up the next size because I was right at the tail end of the the chart for a medium. So, but I got it from Revzilla. They, you know, shipped it right to my house. Good deal. Gloves. Um, like I said, I probably won't. You know, I only wear them when, I'm, when they're cool. But as soon as it's warm enough, I will be riding without gloves. Uh, you guys can leave your comments below. If, you know, whatever you're thinking, I'm crazy or whatever. But that's me. You know, let everybody live their own life. I got a couple different pairs I just bought recently uh, i bought it from sportline power products uh local motorcycle dealership here in, you know queensbury on route 9 queensbury new york they sell honda kawasaki yamaha suzuki stuff like that all right uh like i said i'm kind of cheap i don't really i don't go into buying harley davidson gloves harley davidson helmets harley davidson this and that or whatever uh you know I don't care what you buy, you know, whatever bike you ride, whatever, like, you know, I do have a Harley Davidson right now, uh, I don't buy everything from there, you know, and right now I'm in the process of buying a BMW, and I'm not going to buy everything from there either, I like to buy just regular motorcycle gear, not necessarily, not necessarily the cheaper the better, but, you know, I'll go medium grade, you know, I don't want to spend a ton of money, I don't want to be too cheap either, but. Anyway, so these gloves here, they're Cortec. Both of them are made by Cortec. This one here is the Cortec Scrapper. Extra large. Uh, nice little leather glove, perforated. It's a little bit warmer, you know. Uh, they do have the little fingers here that for touch screen. Pretty decent glove. I'll, I'll wear those when it's a little cooler. Uh, and then if it's just barely you know, cold enough for me to wear gloves. I got these other Cortec. And these ones are called the Brody. All right. And I got these ones in two extra large. Uh, you know, always try and don't always buy the same size. You never know because different, different gloves. These are made by the same company, but uh, I had to get a bigger one in these ones. It felt more better. I uh, felt more comfortable. Uh, so these are like a, I don't know what you want to call it. Just they're a thinner glove. Uh, suede, a little bit suede, and they got the fingers on them too, for the, for your cell phone, your touch screens, or whatever. So those are my gloves. Okay, okay, that was a quick little video, uh, you know, on my uh, gear. Just something for me to do today. Uh, like I said, it's a little. I don't know if it's gonna rain or not. It's supposed to rain, and you know, like I'm a fair weather rider. So anyway, I just wanted to give a, do a quick video on my gear. Anyway, that's my gear. Uh, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me all your concerns about me not wearing real gear. Uh, you know, like, you know, I will ride this, use this stuff when I ride right now. But I'm telling you, right in the summer, dead heat, I'm going to squid it. That's me. But anyway, so... Uh, also, hit the bell, you know, so, you know, if you are subscribed, you know, subscribe, hit the bell so you know all the new videos that come out. But that's it for now, and see you next time. Thank you.